Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 20th episode of Carnival Cruising Podcast Aways, the podcast where we talk about anything and everything Carnival Cruising related. My name is Trevor Shelby, and joining me on this cruising adventure is my good friend, Thomas Kennedy. You said that was going to be weaker today because you have a bad throat and you almost threw your voice out doing it. I know, it was great. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Uh, uh, I gave it everything I had, now I can't do the show. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I mean, listen to you. You're I'm packing ready. up. I'm packing you up. sound like you've been smoking like a whole carton of cigarettes a day. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you should you should hear some of my YouTube videos today. They're pretty rough. But yeah, the um, I, I've been under the weather and my throat is uh, just about gone. But I'm here. I'm here for you guys. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't leave you guys behind. I so, told him to take a week off. But nah, no, no. Mr. Kennedy was like, you get your butt on that computer. You get in here and record this darn podcast. And no, he threatened no, me. No, I never said anything like that. That's like, are you uh, sure uh, you're okay uh, to do it? His exact words were, we could miss a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we mean, can't miss a week. This is episode 20. I'm so excited. Well, well next week would have been episode 20 if we... Oh week. no! If we missed a week, we'd lose that number forever. We'd go straight to twenty-one. No, we wouldn't. Hey, That's hey! Not next, how it works. next episode, our show is legally able to drink, and so that is amazing. That's not how it works either. That's how it works. <laughs> we haven't been on for twenty-one years. Yeah, twenty-one episodes. Each episode represents a year, I think. No, that's in not, podcast that, years, that is not how it works. In podcast years, that that's how it works. Anyways, <laughs> we've got a great show lined up for you guys today. Uh, we've we've really kind of been plotting and planning this one out for a little bit, and we want to go back to uh, maybe talking about some ports. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, uh, we do. We've got some pretty cool and interesting cruise news. And so uh, and then some questions that we're going to wrap up with. So, yeah, it's going to be so, a lot of so, fun. So what's this port? Is it the most popular port in the Caribbean uh, itineraries? No, nah, we've think already so. we've already done Key West. <laughs> You make my head hurt sometimes. I know. I'm. I'm sorry. I just love I'm, Key West, man. No. I do too, but it, it's not the. You're, that's not the most popular port. I know. It, it <laughs> is not the most popular port. We are talking. It. Well, I mean, it is, but like, it isn't too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're talking about Cozumel, and yeah. The, and if you've been on as many cruises as you know we have, or you know, some other people, you may be like, I don't want to go to Cosmel anymore. Yeah. And it's one well, of the ports that I'm like, I don't want to get off the boat sometimes. Yeah. I will say Cosmel has a great port. They've got a lot of stuff to do, but yeah, <laughs> it's like when you've been there so many times, <laughs> we're, we're Galveston cruisers. So like every ship is like, hey, let's let's, let's stop at Cozumel. <laughs> There's only one itinerary that doesn't go to Cozumel. Yeah, and that and that's the Key West and the Bahamas. Yeah. You know? So we've been several times, and I feel like I've done <laughs> like the same thing over and over again. And we're yeah. gonna kind of talk about this a little bit because we I mean, do kind of got a, got a little story going on here with this. I, I mean Cosmel, you know, that that's a lot of a lot of things have happened in Cosmel. You know, I've mm -hmm. been to two or three beaches there. Yes. Um, you know, did Mr. Sancho's yes. made a mermaid scream. Um, <laughs> 
Oh, the mermaid story. If you want to check out the mermaid story, get a little preview of what that is. Uh, check out the Lido deck uh, YouTube page. Mr. Kennedy here details it. And there were things in this story that I didn't even know. And I was shocked by. So <laughs> definitely go in there. Check it out. I think that it's so it amazing. was your own fault for going to the Mayan ruins. If you hadn't went to the ruins oh. that day. You, I would have, I would have I, accomplished my mission. That's true. That's true, because uh, I would have asked the mermaid before. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I would have. I, I would. I would not have done what you did, sir. Anyway, you would not have. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, uh, so let's let's talk about when you get into port. So, it's a very intimidating port. It is. Uh, it didn't used to be though. No, it didn't. But it's like it's so it's, big. Whenever they added that second pier to Carnival side, is whenever yeah. it started being like freaky. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And it's it. Yeah, Carnival side is like the furthest out, and uh, you have like, um, it, it's good picture opportunities if you oh, yeah. and. If you end up uh, with a really cool ship next to your ship, you can kind of get in between them and do some selfie shots with the ships in between. And that's pretty cool. Well, uh, my favorite is like walking down about a half mile of that yeah. mile long uh, pier. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that 10 mile pier. And like in whenever I was there last, we had the Paradise, the Dream, and the Vista, which is what I was on. And it was just extremely cool um, <laughs> to, to see, you know, the, 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 the progression from really small in the fantasy class to almost really big in the dream class. Yeah. To really big. The only thing that would have made it better is if the Mardi Gras was in there, was in that mix too. Right. And you had seen giant. Yeah. When you're walking down this pier, you have to go through a building and like people are trying to sell you things. There's tons of alcohol, cigarettes, yeah. cigars, all kinds of stuff. This is the duty free, duty free shop to beat all duty free shops. Yes, basically. Uh, they are uh, very friendly. They if you are trying to start your day out right, let's say your ship comes in at 9 a.m., and you get off the boat and you're like, do, 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 do. You get in there and they're like, and it opens tequila up to shots, the liquor. tequila shots, tequila samples. <laughs> yeah, samples, samples. And you're just like, shot, 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 <laughs> shot, 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 shot. <laughs> it's so great. And I do have an interesting like look on this because I was recently in Cozumel uh, as of last October. Uh, did your itinerary go to Cozumel? Uh, I said in March. I went. Oh, Mark, you did? Okay. So the uh, I actually didn't do anything too special in Cozumel. Uh, cool. my, my wife and mother-in-law, they went out and ventured on a uh, some kind of a tour. I stayed in port. And I think it's funny because I've had the same cell phone and for a long time and it just automatically connects to the wi-fi there and the uh, his phone is an iphone one <laughs> it's not an iphone one but i did love the iphone one though by the way but the oh what's that place called there's a restaurant there Three Amigos? Three or, Amigos. No, or no, Fat that, Tuesdays? Fat Tuesdays. It's Fat Tuesdays. They have, they've had the same Wi-Fi password for the last, like, 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> and so my phone automatically connects when I go in. I don't even have to buy anything, but, like, I did go there that that time to uh, to actually get some food. And I had a big old plate of nachos, and I had a wonderful view of the ship. And uh, I took some really cool photos through my uh, 
my uh my beer bottle of the ship yeah and so uh just kind of goofy stuff did, did you go to that mock beach right next to it i went to the mock beach i've had some issues with that mock beach in the past so did you fall in the water no i didn't fall in the water uh there were sand fleas the last time i was there two times ago. oh really yeah and people that's where you got them no 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 that is i was going there and then there were people massively fleeing the beach <laughs> because there were so many sand fleas and i was like Mm, that doesn't sound great. And at the time, I didn't even know what a sand flea was. And so I was like, mm, I don't think I'm going to mess with that if everyone is leaving. So, um, but I walked around. Uh, I do like a lot of the shops there. Ron John's uh, surf shop is there. They've got their Cozumel location is there. Uh, I usually pick up a T-shirt while I'm there, I love their t-shirts and I have uh, been uh, over the last couple of years living the soft life. And so I buy the softest t-shirts in the softest like pants possible. And they have some incredibly soft t-shirts. And so it was really hard to like decide because I only buy like one because they're they're a little pricey. They're a little pricey. <laughs> yeah, but, but I have to ask. Yeah, you're not a surfer. No, why would I'm not. you worse? Uh, why, why would why would you pick up I, Ron John stuff if you're not a? Surfer? Everyone in that that's building like is a surfer. <laughs> that's like being you know you know a guy without a Harley getting Harley shirts and stuff. It's not. It's it's a brand. Yeah. It's not a surf. <laughs> it's not a surfer's only brand. Uh, but. I I actually I went there and uh, I wanted to pick up some magnets for like gifts for some of my employees and my boss. And I realized how expensive they were there. And here is a tip there sometimes is people with little push carts out there and they typically don't haggle. But if you kind of push them to it, they'll do it. <laughs> or you just step outside of the duty free area, just about a hundred yards, and there's the same cart there that will haggle with you. Yeah, well, this lady haggled with me. Uh, mm. I got three magnets for like ten bucks, so one too bad of a deal, and uh, I uh, I definitely feel like I won that one because they were like ten bucks a magnet on her cart, so the um we we had a little bit of a back and forth it was kind of i don't haggle much uh i i'm kind of terrible at it uh she well she, i mean inside the duty free area it's kind of hard to haggle though. yeah it is but i mean like the lady was like she goes i'll give you two for like 20 and i said i've got ten dollars and i want more than two <laughs> and she was like i'll give you three for 15 and i was like three for 10 and or i'm walking away <laughs> she would she gave me three for 10 <laughs> i don't know uh like if if in just about any other circumstance that would probably not work <laughs> so um but wow. yeah, I walked away with three nice magnets and she was actually kind enough to actually because like these magnets actually had like a little bit of meaning in their culture. And she actually walked me through their meanings and I was actually able to give that. I was actually able to pick out the magnets that meant to what I thought about these people. So it was actually thoughtful gifts. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> see, I... My, my my biggest you know thing about shopping is you I, I you know I'm, when I go you know we either go to Sancho's lately or we just stay in the the duty free area mm -hmm. but if the my mother just didn't want to leave the duty free area this last time so we ended up just walking around the the duty free area shopping yeah and i'm like mom you know we can get the same stuff just 100 yards that way and you can haggle like you like yeah and yeah, yeah. but she didn't 
And plus there's, uh, you know, I may have to do this one time whenever I don't cruise with her. Mm -hmm. There's a Chinese restaurant about a block away from, from the, the cruise terminal. You know, I want to try Mexican Chinese food. There you go. (laughs) That'd be pretty cool. I, I would, I would be down to go with you on that one. To try Chinese food. Yes, in Mexico. yes, Chinese food in Mexico. Let's see what it's like. Um, but you know, I've never actually walked out of their duty free area like just to go explore. I've always, if I left the duty free area, it was to get on a taxi or it was to get on a tour bus and go be taken somewhere. Yeah. Um. No, we so, have before. I mean, uh, we've uh you know walked around a bit you know and then came back and yeah. something i'll never do again is rent a scooter there um <laughs> yeah that's a totally different story which i will never that's ever a, tell that's a totally different story we're gonna have to get it out of him we'll get it out of him folks no it's no, a good no, one no it's no a good it's one. not no it's, it's not a, it's a good cautionary tell that i think that our listeners would benefit from so. but anyway <laughs> so but you know this last time we walked around and have you taken one of the rickshaws back to the ship or to, from the ship no no i've never have that, that's a pretty interesting thing we took a rickshaw back to the, to the ship did you yeah um and, and it's pretty cheap it's only like five bucks you know oh okay and, and of course you gotta tip them but you know yeah so but I, I'm, I, I was shocked that the dude could even, you know, ride with me on the back. <laughs> oh, they, they, uh, they, they've, they've done a lot worse. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, that's funny. But, well, the um, uh, some of the stuff that I've done. See, you've gone to some beaches. Uh, the the beach that i've gone to with you is mr sancho's yeah which that is not a carnival um typical like that's not on the carnival website you have to book that outside of carnival and one thing that i'm planning for like a future episode on my actual youtube is actually how to book that and what your steps are uh whenever you do book that because you're only putting down a a, like a uh a deposit for that Um, yeah and you don't pay until you get there yeah you don't pay till you get there they're not gonna pick you up at port (laughs) you take a taxi you have to pay that taxi (laughs) so uh yeah you're you're going to um uh you're you're gonna basically you need to bring some cash along with you i don't remember if they take a card or not they do take cards um okay it's it, it's going the price is going up to like uh sixty dollars yeah sixty dollars including, 65 including the five dollars oh, yeah deposit. yeah 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 that's true uh, so you really have to log in to see the excursions uh i think you do i'm logged in right now and i'm looking at them because the beach that's uh for um that's on carnival site is the one is one that we went to yeah but we didn't go on an excursion we just hopped in a taxi and went yeah now um now i don't see it listed on my itinerary but they also have some mayan ruins that is a it's quite the trek in a it's it's going to take up your whole uh day basically um if you want to go see the mayan ruins it, this one was the actually the first mayan ruins that i ever went to it's the one that has one of the famous mayan calendars and um i i thought that was pretty neat and um it has some uh, remnants of the uh, that sporting game that they used to play the, the with the hoops and they would like hit a ball with like their shoulders and stuff and their elbows uh, or or i guess with their feet i don't know how they played it honestly i've never seen it played and i don't i don't think anybody plays it anymore but <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, the Mayans kind of <laughs> disappeared, <not> here. you know. Yeah. 
but anyways they um they've got one of those there and then you've got this big giant temple that you get to climb and that was pretty cool uh i've uh i went up it 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 was a very tiring experience <laughs> and so it took quite a while to get up there but we got some really great pictures and some really really cool memories from that trip um now speaking of memories going to mr sancho's i've lost a few <laughs> um uh, a few i mean there's yeah. a picture that we do not remember taking yeah yeah so uh i've always had a lot of fun at the beach uh mr sancho's is now is cozumel where you can also book in at paradise beach yeah okay so i've never been to paradise beach but i heard it compared a lot to mr sancho's but and actually paradise beach is the one that we we went to i believe but okay yeah. i think i don't know laura if you're listening uh could you tell us which beach we went to uh our first cruise on the uh, on the ecstasy um in cosmo and just leave it in the comments yeah with mr sancho's you get unlimited alcohol you get unlimited food and it's a fun beach day. The only things that uh, that has ever kind of got me in recent visits is that I think they're a little light on the alcohol <laughs> lately. Really? So, so my last visit, which which forgive me, it was before the pandemic. It was just months before it was late 2019 and they had what was it um they were very uh, light on the alcohol i put it that way i had drink after drink after drink after drink and i didn't even get a buzz well that may be around the time that they were getting a lot of complaints from people like people were saying that thinking that they were drugs when when actually they're over poured and drinking too much yeah because they're, you know, they're like, I don't, I don't remember anything. I felt sick and I, I never passed out. <laughs> and, you know, they go back to the video footage and they see some person taking, you know, getting 20 drinks delivered to their table. Yeah. You know? Well, I kept getting drinks because I kept thinking, well, this will hit me at some point. <laughs> and nothing was hitting me. And I'm a lightweight. I'm like the lightest lightweight out of the group. And nothing was hitting me. And so I was a little worried. Uh, and we did have a fun time, though. That was a good trip. And uh, I think that was the one where my dad ended up um, singing with the mariachi band. <laughs> we got some great footage of that, which is it was. Really I don't funny. think I've ever seen that video. You haven't seen that one. I will. No. I will get that posted. It is so funny. Uh, the mariachi band comes in and he is just like spouting gibberish and he's got the tambourine they handed him a tambourine which was like their first big mistake <laughs> and he was just shaking it away having a good time and so i love my dad man he he just knows how to have a good time and uh so uh we almost lost him that day though we almost <laughs> lost him he almost joined the band joined the band <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so <laughs> well i mean at least he got to join the band as opposed to some of our people who Always request La Bamba. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Really? Uh, La, La Bamba? Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's the only one they could think of. <laughs> Next time I'm shouting, sing Despacito. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, you know what kidding. the sad thing is? They have all this food on the menu, you know, that you know, I'm not really a big fan of, and then I just found, like, right, uh, the last time I was there, like, 20 minutes before we left, I, I found out there was also a buffet we could go to that had, really? like, chicken wings and stuff. Really? Yeah, I didn't buffet? know that. I, I didn't, didn't know I, that. We've been so many times that didn't know there was a buffet. Wow. Yeah. Or they perhaps... had, like, chicken wings and stuff. Or perhaps... and I'm serious. <laughs> I, I did not know that, and, you know, because I don't like Mexican, I don't like Mexican food. Or perhaps we did know, and we, we've forgotten since. 
because there is, like you said, there's photographic evidence of shenanigans going on. I'm carrying you on my back for like a few I don't steps, remember I this. I don't and... remember this. <laughs> and Megan thinks it's the funniest picture ever. And I'll have to get I, it from her and post it too. I don't remember this. We it... were smashed. <laughs> uh, we were out. It was taken out there by the vendors where they're selling all the luchador masks and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, in the 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 donkey and and the 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 nativity scene were out there. Yeah. 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 So it was it was in December. Yeah. (laughs) So yeah, we. um, I remember that much. mm -hmm. (laughs) So those are some of the places that we've been to. They do have a lot of really cool stuff that you can do. They have uh, certified uh, diving stuff, um, Mm -hmm. ATV adventures. Uh, all kinds of snorkeling, which I can never snorkel. I wish I could snorkel, man. I really do. You, you know, you said that one time in, in Grand Cayman, you said you almost drowned, but I remember you being out there and doing really good. Yeah, but I didn't see anything. It's because my head is weirdly shaped and it doesn't like the mask doesn't stop the water from coming in. And that's because you didn't do it properly. I did do it properly. What you the do guy is you help take, me. You take the mask, you dip it in water to keep it from and, and, and like swirl it around, dump the water out. That keeps it from fogging up. You put the mask on and put the strap there, suck in really tight. And the mask doesn't leak. Yeah, it doesn't work for me, man. It never creates that suction. I've got a weirdly shaped head or something. My head is big, I, but then my I've head got, is like, bigger than yours. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wear it's a weird. Seven and three quarter <laughs> fitted hat. Yeah. I mean, it's probably bigger now. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, it's you got to fit that brain somewhere. <laughs> They've got all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. ATVs, uh, the. Uh, Oh, what is that? Jet skis. Jet skis. All uh, kinds of cool stuff. Most of the beaches have inflatables out there you can play on out in the water. Yes. Yes. My kids back in the day, man, they love those inflatables. Mm-hmm. I kept thinking they were going to get in trouble because my son went up there. And this is when he was like an older teenager. He's like like the oldest kid up there. And he's just like shoving every kid off the top of the inflatable. <laughs> he was like, it's this is King my of the spot. Mountain. <laughs> he was definitely playing King of the Mountain. He was throwing everybody off. And I was like, oh, my God, what is he doing? He's he's already he's already like a stupid tall kid at the time and i was just like come on tyler <laughs> well, was this before or after he was in jrtc this was, was after okay this, so he yeah. had bulked up by then too yeah he got he, he went from like scrawny to bulk right after he went in yeah. i'm like holy wow cracks me up uh but yeah there's all kinds of things to do there and i highly recommend if you are booking into one of these itineraries that go to Cozumel is if you pick out what you want, go ahead and pick up those excursions before they sell out because they can Mm -hmm. sell out. They'll take them off the website. And so people won't even know that they're there or they'll pop up and just say sold out. So. Yeah. Buy them as soon as possible. Yeah. Because Um, they're, they're usually, I mean, when last time I went, of course, there was only uh, there's four ships there. There was one, uh, one Royal, and then three, uh, three um, Carnival. But I've been there with with like eight ships in port before. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, of course, Cosmo is also one of the coolest evacuations I've seen ever. So <laughs> I don't. Uh, I was on the magic, you know, it was, a, it was the series in May of 2014, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it was a free cruise given to me by carnival. Um, uh, and 
the magic has always had something wrong when I'm on the ship. <laughs> something happens. Medical emergencies, you know, fake man overboards. Yeah. Um, you know, things of that nature. Well, I wake up the second day of the cruise, the second sea day, and we aren't, it's, you know, supposed to be Roatan, Belize, and Cozumel. And I wake up, I look one way, I was like, I look the other, and well, that that's Cancun. Why are we in Cosmel? <laughs> and so, the, you know, I go and eat breakfast, and I come out, and everyone's over looking, you know, to the, to the port side, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? They didn't need some some person needed to be evacuated off the ship because they you know broke a hip or something. They didn't even pull into the uh, to the pier. They just stopped and they sent a tender out oh. to pick the person up. <laughs> well, and, you know I, I'm surprised we even stopped long enough for the tender to to you know to get there and we didn't just you know like throw them off or something. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That uh, Cozumel is a great spot to see uh, pier runners as well. Yeah. yeah. Because they have a long way to run. (laughs) I do. I mean, I don't think it's as good as Nassau's pier runners. Right. uh, It is a good place to see pier runners. It is very good. So especially if you're on the right side, on port side on the on the ship and you're you're uh, down in one of those lower balconies. You can really get the action. <laughs> but I am disappointed that then that we were not on the correct side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you can always get some of those if you're watching uh, at um, whenever the ship is leaving port and uh, you yeah. go up top. But uh, I've seen some great videos recently of of uh, some peer runners and people just uh, heckling them hard. <laughs> dude, we've heckled hard before. Too. Oh, we have to. <laughs> I mean, so uh, I got to find some of our old videos, man, that we took with those old cameras. They, it's going to look rough, but the, oh, my gosh, if we got I'm going to have to ones. wait until December, whenever my memories come up from all the, the cruises <laughs> of that band in yeah uh, jamaica yeah Yeah. that we sat there for like two and a half hours watching yeah uh we i've got a a co-worker that is going to jamaica next week and uh on a cruise and he is uh very very excited about it and when he told me he was going out of montego bay i told him to wait and see if there's going to be the band with the kids dancing or whatever. So <laughs> that one kid was so dirty. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> and, and, and the, oh. the women and the women he had cost are just giggled. Yeah. Yeah. He was, it was, this kid was like six years old. Something like that. <laughs> uh, anyways, anyway, well, let's, uh, that, that's uh, Jamaica. Uh, that's another we're, story. We're going to have to talk about this whenever <laughs> yeah, we get to Jamaica. It's all another story. Anyways. So if you've been anywhere interesting in Cozumel, uh, definitely let us know something we didn't mention or we didn't go into very well, any big detail post it down below in the comments over on our facebook page and let us know what you did we're very interested because uh, i do have this itinerary coming up in a few weeks and i have not booked anything yet so definitely help me out help me out be my best friend just stay on the ship no i'm not staying on the ship i'm getting off i'm having a good time that, don't know that, what I'm doing yet. You, you can have a good time in port whenever everyone's I, off the ship and that you have the water slides all to yourself. I that's true. That is true. But I did that last time and oh, I'm okay. not going to do it this time. So anyways. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Definitely check us out over at facebook.com forward slash carnival cruising podcast aways we've got the uh, page and we've got a facebook group where all kinds of shenanigans happen you're missing out you should go on there now and like it so <laughs> that 
You, 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 you seem kind of pushy there. <laughs> they should do it now. All seven of us are waiting on you. <laughs> we have 12. All 12. All 12 of us are waiting on you. No, it's a great time. And uh, also, so I hope you all have a great week. But uh, yeah, most importantly, know that you are significant, you matter, and you are loved. And remember, anything that happens on the ship stays on YouTube. Bye. See ya.